One of the most beloved figures in Kentucky basketball has passed away tonight. Good evening. I'm Scott Reynolds. And I'm Doan G. Bill Kitely, the man known around the Commonwealth and the country as Mr. Wildcat, died after suffering a fall at the Cincinnati Reds game. His sudden death comes as a shock to all those who know him. Way 3's Connie Leonard joins us now with more on that. Connie. Yeah, guys, a sad night for Big Blue Nation and beyond tonight. Bill Kitely, an avid Reds fan, also was with a group of people going to watch the Reds game today when he fell getting off a bus at the stadium. The 81-year-old was taken to be checked out, but many of the people with him didn't think it was anything serious. Once at the University of Cincinnati Hospital, doctors discovered he had internal bleeding caused by the fall and an undiagnosed tumor on his spine. He passed away at 7.45 tonight with his family and members of the U.K. coaching staff at his side. Tonight is an understatement to say he will be sorely missed. What do you say for our 100th anniversary? Mr. Wildcat himself! A fixture at every celebration and every game for more than four decades. There's a reason Bill Kikley is known as Mr. Wildcat. He is the face of Kentucky basketball. Since 1962, his job as longtime equipment manager was one he cherished and talked about recently. You know, it's, it's just something I look forward to doing. You know, most people hate to get up in the morning. I look forward to getting up. I don't want to miss anything. For fans and for teams throughout Big Blue history, Mr. Wildcat was a father figure and always a loyal friend. When someone wanted to find wrong with one of his coaches, he was ready to stand in their defense. No way in the world was Adolph Brook a racist. No way. When Coach Rick Pitino left the Wildcats and returned to coach their biggest rival, Bill Kitely remained one of Patino's biggest cheerleaders and even sat with U of L fans for his old coach during the Cards Sweet 16 matchup Thursday night in Charlotte. Uh, he's never going to like Louisville. It's just not his makeup. But he understands what friendships and people are all about. And uh, I really appreciate that because guys like Bill Kitely stay your, they're your friends for life. And they're, a lot of guys I thought were my friends back at those days, haven't been my friend, so I really appreciate his friendship. The friend and fixture of Kentucky basketball through seven national championships was just last year inducted into the Kentucky Athletic Hall of Fame. I don't know how much legacy I could leave. I know one thing, I know what a legend is. It's a man in the twilight of a very ordinary career. And I guess when I leave this, this place, well, when I leave this earth, I think I'll have it inscribed up on the monument to be continued. Tonight, in a statement from Cincinnati, head Wildcat coach Billy Gillespie says, This is one of the saddest days of my life. He went on to say, At the age of 81, he's become one of my very best friends. Our hearts go out to his family and the millions of Wildcat fans who he loved so much. Kitely joined veteran broadcaster Kay Wood Ledford as the only non-player or coach to ever have a jersey retired at UK. And guys, over the years I've had the pleasure of interviewing him several times and he's one of the nicest men, uh, gentlemen always, that I've ever met. And you know there are a lot of players, current and former, who are shedding tears at this news tonight. And yeah, and a lot of them just now finding out about it because it did happen so late tonight. And how do you feel those shoes? Yeah. Not possible. Yeah, not possible. Yeah. What a man. Thanks, Connie. Okay. We'll have more coverage tomorrow, of course, but we know thousands of you will want to pay your respects to Mr. Wildcat, Bill Kitely. We have a link set up on our website for you where you can sign a condolence book. Just go to way3.com, type Mr. Wildcat up in the speed word box, and then click go.